Today I'm going to attach the vertical stabilizer to the tail cone. I decided to build a low workbench that makes it easier to work on the tail feathers. The bench is 8 feet long, 35 inches wide, 21 inches tall, which pretty much matches the width of the tail cone. The ceiling in my garage is 8 foot 4 inches. The tail cone with the vertical stabilizer attached is 5 foot 1, from the bottom of the tail cone to the top of the vertical stabilizer. I'll be able to get the whole tail cone out of the garage door opening with a few inches to spare, minus the workbench of course. The garage door opening is 82 inches high. To prevent scratches from the vertical stabilizer install, I removed the blue film and covered the skin with some postal paper. I removed the screws from the forward skin of the vertical stabilizer to expose the area that attaches to the tail cone. I wish now I hadn't put this forward skin on when I finished building the stabilizer. I put the screws into a small Ziploc bag so I wouldn't lose them. I safety wired a Ziploc bag containing the lower hinge assembly, bolts, nuts, and washers to the vertical stabilizer early on. These parts will go on the workbench for later. Now to move the rudder guide string out of the way. Time to put the vertical stabilizer in place. The tail cone attachment plate has to go behind the nut plates in the vertical stabilizer. I used my black 5 32nd Clecos to hold everything in place. Same thing in the rear. Now to put on the lower hinge assembly. I used my 3 8 screwdriver wrench to screw the bolts in a little farther, but not too far. The stabilizer needs to be a little bit loose in order to get the postal paper out. I found it a little easier to put the bolt and washers inside the screwdriver wrench when installing them. It also helped to get the bolt to go in straight to prevent it from stripping. These bolts are also not tightened all the way, leaving some play. Same thing in the front of the stabilizer, bolts tighten just a little. Mm -hmm. 
time to remove the postal paper. Using the torque settings and the instructions, I slowly torqued each bolt. The bottom bolts were a little hard to get to. I added some extensions to my torque wrench to get it done. Now to mark the bolts with some torque seal. Time to torque the rest of the bolts. These bolts were also marked with torque seal. Time to reattach the vertical stabilizer front skin. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe.